Fora TV. The world is thinking. How is the Obama administration doing? Well, the single best indicator is the Dow, and notwithstanding today's burst, it's at or slightly lower than it was over the day he took office. And you have to sort of disentangle these things because some of them make a little bit more sense than others. But let's just start with the beginning. First of all, using a depression or recession as an excuse for sort of substantive regulation of the market in labor areas or in, or in, or in these various insurance programs is always a complete mistake. Uh, these things don't make sense standing alone. They're not going to make sense standing with everything else. Secondly, when you start looking at the bailouts, again, you have to worry about the bankruptcy type situation. The number one and easiest case to let go down the tubes is General Motors, Chrysler, Ford, if it had to. Uh, you do not want to put any money into a group of institutions which are so encumbered with pension obligations one way or another and so encumbered with dealer obligations that they can never rationalize their business no matter how much cash you put into them. One of the advantages of going into bankruptcy is there's an orderly way to shuck to get rid of losing contracts in order to bring the business back into some kind of equilibrium. And so we spend hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, the only political question... You know what, the, can I just, the, yeah. one of the common threads here in your comments about the Bush administration yeah. and the Obama administration is that they don't know about, enough about bankruptcy law. They don't understand. They, it sounds to me as though they're permitting themselves to be spooked like an ordinary layman to think that bankruptcy equals... Death and destruction. Death and destruction, exactly. It does. It's a relatively orderly process. We have legal... The, the, this law is well known. There are bankruptcy judges who know how to do it. Right? Yeah, what we do is we take it away from experts and give it to a collection of congressional individuals who are charitably called clowns. I mean, it, it really makes no sense whatsoever to do it in this particular fashion. And as I look this over time and time again, I'm always struck about how it is when you bring things to Congress, it becomes politicized, and politicized decisions become destructive decisions. Now, the bankruptcy courts cannot handle the cash infusion issues. And right. it's a very difficult question as to whether or not you want to infuse cash into your economy. And, and here I have a very mixed emotions. There are certainly very respectable people like Gary Beck who said you put it in today and then you pull it out tomorrow. I'm not that confident that anyone could be a fine tuner. And I, I get want the, to distinguish here. For sure, you, would, you would accept the Milton and Becker argument that the Fed should indeed have, have pumped uh, liquidity into the economy. No. You're, uh, oh, I mean, you're not even sure about that? I'm not sure about that, no. And let me explain why. There's no liquidity problem. We have huge amounts of cash that's sitting on the sideline right now. And, you know, in the hands of large investment bankers of tremendous sophistication, they don't want to lend. Why not? Because they don't believe that the money they lend today is going to be collected tomorrow under the mortgages that they issue. Just the reason why they're balking about joining all these partnerships that Obama announced today or Geithner announced today is because they don't think that the deal they get today is the deal they're going to have tomorrow. After all, if you welch on AIG, you could welch on anybody. And that's what they're, fear they're really afraid of. So what's happened in this market, there is now a complete lack of confidence that long-term transactions will be consistently construed over their entire lives. And that's worse than a liquidity crisis, because even if you got the money, nobody wants to do anything but put it into Treasury bills. This